Hey, this is Zach. I uh, just wanted to quickly show um, an example, or not an example, but this control box I designed. Um, not designed, but put together, rather. Uh, so, this whole control box basically is supposed to do what this thing does. Uh, this is a dry contact switch from, uh, as you can see, the Rollies. Um, this thing's pretty slick. I got, I got this hoping that I could make it work for my system. Um, I have ZemiSmart uh, roller motors um, that are RF controlled. However, they this does not work with them because it's a proprietary RF signal. And ZemiSmart does not offer a equivalent. I've messaged them. They said it was in development. Um, and that was probably about six months ago. So I still haven't heard anything. I kind of doubt that I'll actually see something. Um, but we can hope. Um, but this thing's pretty slick. So this basically allows you to have an input, so you can do up and down. So if you wanted to have a switch, you also do stop in there, which is nice. Um, and this basically just is a, it's a remote. It's an RF remote is all it is, um, except you source 24 volt to it. So there you have your 24 volt power. Or you can do 12 volt, which is also nice. So pretty simple. Um, so you do have to source 24 volt either way. Um, but, um, what I ended up doing, in this case, since Zemi Smart does not offer one of these, I have one of their wall switches here, uh, hardware hacked. So you can kind of see my, my wires there. So I just solder right into the buttons. So you can actually press these buttons and it will actually cause them to work there. So let me, oops, yeah. okay, I'm gonna do this without. So that's making the blinds over there. These are my three RF blinds and my dogs, so don't mind them. Um, so again, yeah, this is just a regular remote, okay? Um, this normally does have a battery in the back of it, but I went ahead and hardware hacked that too because I didn't want to, I want to put this someplace and forget about it, so um, I actually wired it in this little thing as a, a little converter from 24 volt to 3 volt. So, um, anyways, so, right. Um, so this whole box basically is designed to let me use this in addition to my voice to control my RF blinds, um, or my roller blinds that are RF controlled. So to make that happen, like I said, I have my regular RF remote, which would be the traditional way you would do this. The, the housing's gone from this, but you basically would mount this on a wall within the housing. Um, you know, just use the up and down buttons. Um, I just didn't like how that looked. It looked kind of nasty. Um, I can show you what the, this again, this is Emmy Smart offers this. It's just a, I don't know. It, it didn't look very nice and I, I didn't want to just have that sitting out on my wall. Um, not to mention that I wanted to be able to voice control. This doesn't offer voice control. There are other ways to do this, but um, I also wanted to stay with the, you know, the kind of switches that are in my house. So these are the switches that are in my house. So I didn't want to have to use a weird switch and just make it not look part of the whole house. So I just wanted to make everything consistent. And a switch is pretty dang convenient. You know, everybody knows how to use a switch. When I sell the house or if a guest come over, you know, they're, you know, they don't have to try to use their voice or if it's, you know, they can't figure out how to operate the blinds, you have a switch. So that just seems like a good option to me to always have a switch. So uh, again, this is a Shelly 2.5 here as well. This is my Wi-Fi relay, essentially. Um, these things are awesome. Uh, I use them all over the place. Uh, let me demo how this works real quick. So, so you got down here. So this, which well, actually I think in this case is up. Yep. So all of them go down. This is all low voltage, 24 volt, by the way. So it's, it's okay for me to be holding it like this. Um, well, it's not okay, but it's not not going to hurt me too bad. Um, so anyways, so yeah, that allows me to use a switch to control everything. So I'm going to have this in the wall, allowing people who don't feel comfortable with using voice assistance to do it. Um, and now we also have, hey Google, close the kitchen blinds. Just thinking about it. Sure, close there you the go. So that works pretty well. Hey Google, open the kitchen blinds. Okay, open 
opening kitchen blinds. So, yeah, works pretty well. Um, again, these are all RF. Uh, the one on the door is a uh, lithium powered, um, you know, has a battery in it, so that's wireless completely. Um, man, those, I've been really impressed with that Zemi Smart uh, wireless roller motor, by the way. Um, I've charged it once since I got it, um, and that was probably, oh, I think I installed it in December. Google's talking to me. Um, so yeah, really impressed with that. The other two are just small two newton meter uh, roller motors uh, with RF. Uh, they're just AC powered. So um, I'm going to go ahead and run wires to them right now so you don't have these wires hanging out like that one is. But anyways, yeah. So again, all RF controlled. Um, I did give an option. So the problem with this is that you can't control, like if you want one to be at a certain position, you can't control that. Um, so that's where you will need to use the remote. So the R so this remote works as well. Basically, I've paired two remotes with this. First, I went ahead and set the limits with this remote. It's a five channel. Um, so you can kind of see the different channels here. So a five channel remote. Um, you can do individual channels or you can do all of them like that. Uh, so again, just to show you, you want to go down, hit the down button, it goes down hit up and then goes up. So piece of cake. Um, if I want to stop them in the middle, this works really nicely for that. This, this system does not have a way to stop them in this, in a different position, you know, so that's a little bit of a bummer. Um, I can also control them individually. So here's one. So there's one, one's going to go down. I want to stop it. I want to go down a little bit further, you know, And same thing with the rest of them, you know, so there's two, go over to three, and there's three. All right, I'm going to go back to all of them again. They yeah, all go up. So if you want a little more precise control, you got to use a remote. There, I couldn't figure out a good way to make that work with this current setup. Shelly 2.5s, though, they are really good. If I could do a wired option on all of them, uh, that works really well. And I'll demonstrate on this one over here. This is just a regular, um, I think it's a four wire. So one wire goes up, one wire goes down, one's for, and one's for stop. Oh, sorry, one's for power, one's for ground. Neutral and ground, sorry. Yeah, so and I just have that wired in. There's a Shelly 2.5 behind this light switch here. So same concept again. Goes down, you know, goes up. If I hit the... Now what's nice about this one, as where the other one does not do that, if I hit the same direction again, it stops it. So there we go, so it stopped. Um, so you still have the ability to partially close or open this one, um, where the other one, you know, straight from the wall. Or you can use a voice command. Um, hey Google, set kitchen or set living room blinds to 50%. See if it goes. Hey Google, set living room blinds to 50%. There it goes. So uh, the Shelly 2.5 also allows you to configure the top and the bottom, and then you can use your voice to actually set where those positions are. So, hey Google, set living room blinds to 25%. Okay, opening the living room blinds. To 25%. So it's pretty slick. Hey Google, open living room blinds. So again, Shelly 2.5 and just a regular four wire roller motor, really the way to go um, as far as granularity and control and that kind of thing. Um, I just couldn't do that here because I have three um, that I would like to control from one location. Individually controlling them would be kind of annoying. Um, and then you also have the RF, I mean, you have to have RF on this. That's the only way you can do it. I can't do a four wire. so. Because it's on a door. 
So in this case, it's kind of interesting. I ended up using three different ways of controlling these, um, three different types of roller motors in this um, scenario. So, oh, and just to get back to the box, just a quick rundown of what's in there. So again, you have your RF remote, which is what this is, just hardware hacked. You have your power converter. So this is actually converting 24 volts to 3.1 volts, which would be the battery on the back of this guy. But again, because I didn't want to change the battery on this, I went ahead and had it converted. So um, there's your 24 volt power supply right there. Kind of overkill for what, how much current this is pulling. So I may end up throwing a smaller one on this because I noticed this thing's closed up. It gets a little warm. So um, did put a fuse in the whole system. So yep, just trying to make sure that's as safe as possible. Shelly 2.5. Um, and the Shelly 2.5 actually controls this relay here. Um, and this is a 24 volt relay uh, because, so the Shelly 2.5 is a Wi-Fi relay and this Wi-Fi relay is controlling this, um, this relay which ends up coming out to here. So kind of a roundabout way to do it. Uh, the Shelly 2.5 also has inputs on it. So uh, you'll notice the uh, uh, switch one and then switch two. So those are what's coming from here. And so that allows this to input to here. Um, and then this also maintains state. So this is my main, kind of the brain of the system, if you will. So that's pretty much the whole system. Um, like I said, it would be really nice if, if SemiSmart came out with something like this. Um, to, you know, in a scenario like this where I'm trying to control all of those. So just wanted to give you an update on all that and uh, kind of show some of the, uh, the mess I had to go through with making this whole thing. So, um, yeah, and feel, feel free to critique me as well. I know there's probably better ways to do this. This is just what I had to come up with in the time frame I had, and, it, you know, it's a mess, but it gets the job done. So, anyways, have fun. Good luck if you're doing this.